Okay guys, in this Fast and Furious video, we're gonna talk about Flipgrid. It's a popular tool, it's great for social emotional learning, it's great for formative assessments, it's great for communication, collaboration, creating community in your classroom. But many people have been left out because they just haven't had time to figure out how do I make this Flipgrid and how do I get it to my students? So in this video, we're gonna show you how to create and post a Flipgrid to classroom in minutes. Let's get started. So on the right hand side of my screen is my student account. This is the student. They belong to this Google Classroom. On the left hand side of the, the screen, you're gonna see um, Flipgrid and how I create it. So I'm not gonna show you how to create your Flipgrid account. Just go to flipgrid.com and sign up, uh, educator sign up and get in there. Once you get in, you will have the ability to create a group. Now we're gonna talk about now creating that group and you can edit the theme. Group can be your class for the year. So I'm gonna call this 2020 Google Classroom and Apps for Learning. Teachers wanna be able to just uh, invite students from a Google Classroom. So as long as you have students in your Google Classroom, you select Google Classroom and then you sign in with Google and then select the account, your teacher account and you want to allow Flipgrid to access, to basically communicate between your Google account classroom and here. And now it can find my class. So I'm going to select that class and I'm going to create the group. And now you'll get this message. Your group is ready. We have started you off with an introduction topic. To view and sync your roster, go to the student list. All right, so many times the first time you use Flipgrid, you're using it as a means for everyone to introduce themselves. So they have a hello, I am uh, already posted for you. If you click on the, the link, you can read it, what it says. If you click on the edit icon, which is a pencil, it will allow you to edit the topic. So you can go ahead and uh, work with that to, to try it out if you wish, or you can create your own new topic. Now, this isn't about how to create topics because this is very intuitive. So go ahead and create your topic. When you're ready to assign it to classroom, all you need to do is click on share and copy the link. Now your students are gonna be able to access that because we've already covered how, that we've already invited your classroom. And now you can go to your classroom. I'm gonna make this larger so you can see. And we're in our class, we're gonna create an assignment Okay, and we're going to add that assignment um, to the topic for the Flipgrid. So uh, I'm going to add my materials. So add my link. And you're going to give it a title. So we'll say um, introductions via Flipgrid. And you can put your instructions there. Please click on the link. Da, da, da. And then over here, I'm gonna add it to a topic. So I always recommend you organize your class with topics. Here we have a Flipgrid topic, and now I can go ahead and click on Assign. Now it's assigned in my Flipgrid section. And if I open it up, I'll show you what it looks like as a student, but as a teacher, you click on the link and you're like, oh, perfect, you can add a response here. And then as a student, let's go to the student view. Student comes to class, they open it up, and they look at the classwork. Again, they click on the link, and it says, hello, I am, join with Google, and then choose your account. And they would go through these steps, and they're ready to add their response. And that's all there is to it. So get started with your Flipgrid. Get started with uh, posting it to Google Classroom. I encourage you to allow yourself to take risks and work with your students in the capacity of this is the first time I'm using Flipgrid. OK, and let's do it together. So you create your post. You can even create it in real time while they're there. Your response, like demo how it's done and then they will go ahead and um, create their own. Good luck. Again, this tutorial was brought to you by Ed Trekkers. Go to edtrekkers.com. We will embed this on the free resources page and we would 
always welcome you to register for any of our awesome workshops. Thanks very much and have a great day.